Hi everyone, welcome back. So today I'm gonna to be sharing with you a guide to using hyperlinks in GoodNotes. This is a very powerful feature that I don't think a lot of people utilize a lot or know exactly that you can do things with the hyperlinks in GoodNotes. So I hope this helps you out. Let's get started and get into everything you need to know about hyperlinks in GoodNotes. So I'm gonna go into GoodNotes here and I've created this document that we're gonna cover. You can also download this if you're interested um, in just following along. You don't have to, but it's in the description if you wanna follow along with this video so yeah hyperlinks this is what i'm going to be covering it's actually a very simple topic but there is a specific feature that goodnotes introduced with goodnotes 6 that's kind of like an update that just makes hyperlinks so much more powerful in goodnotes so first i want to share with you just what is hyperlinks how to access them if you're not sure what they are so i'm just going to go to this planner that i have here so this is just a document that has a lot of hyperlinks you will see here at the sides you can go through all of these. Also this planner, it does have an index where you can go ahead and take a look at everything that's in the planner. And then they are all hyperlinked so you can jump to certain pages. So for instance, January, I'm gonna jump to that. I'm just gonna tap on it and it's gonna go to the month of January. So that is what hyperlinks essentially are. They're just links in a document that allows you to jump to different pages. It's just a really helpful thing. It saves you a lot of time because you don't have to look for a page. You can just click on the link. So a lot of people struggle to know how to actually access hyperlinks a lot of the times because mostly people are in this view here, which is the writing view. So you have your toolbar here at the top and then obviously you can see all the hyperlinks. But when I tap on January, it's not going to do anything. So how you can access hyperlink, it's actually really easy. All you need to do is tap on this pencil icon here at the top, and then we're gonna go into reading view. So this is what reading view looks like. Your toolbar disappears, and now you can easily tap on hyperlinks um, and go through them like this. So that is how you access hyperlinks really easily. You just go into reading view by tapping on your pin icon here at the top. I'm also probably gonna get messages on how I make everything disappear. So when I go into reading mode, you'll see I still have all my things here at the top. To get rid of that, you just tap once and then it's gonna be this plain view. You can't see any tools or anything. Then you can just tap on this drop down arrow to go back to the toolbar here. So that is how you access hyperlinks in reading view. You can access hyperlinks in your writing view when you have your toolbar out and everything. It just takes a little bit longer because you're gonna have to hold down on said hyperlink and then it's gonna bring up a menu. You're just gonna click on open link and then it will take you to that hyperlinks page. So it is possible to use hyperlinks in this view. You're just gonna have to hold down on it and then click on open link. So that is the gist of hyperlinks. Most planners come with them pre-installed. You don't have to do anything. You just download the planner and then you get the planner with all the hyperlinks. So now let's get to how to create your own link. So this is something new that GoodNotes introduced with GoodNotes 6. It was one of the updates. You are always able to link a website to any text that you have, but you can actually now link to a certain document or page within a document, which is really helpful. So to create hyperlinks, all you really need is text. So you can access your text tool and write anything down that you wanna make or turn into a link. So for instance, I'm gonna go ahead and turn the word website into a link. So let's go ahead and do that. So I just selected the text and then you'll see this menu pop up. So you're gonna go to the side until you see add link. So then you can choose link to, and we're gonna choose website. And then you can just link it to any website. Um, you just type it in here, whatever link you want to link to. And then that is that. So now if I go into reading mode, tap on that, it's gonna go ahead and take you to that external website. Just like that. You can also access these again within the writing mode. You just tap on it, then it's gonna ask you a few things. It's gonna ask you whether you wanna open the link, if you wanna copy the link, if you wanna go to link settings, so that allows you to just change it if you wanna change the link or whatever. And then lastly, it asks if you wanna edit link content, so that is editing the text. So if you wanna change the text, you can go ahead and do that. So let's just change this to link and then it changed the text there. So now let's go ahead and take a look at this, the exact same thing, but with pages or documents. So this is the new thing that GoodNotes introduced. So first I'm just gonna go ahead and select the text. Then again, we're gonna go to add link and then it's gonna ask you what you wanna link to. So by default, it's selected to document. 
Then you can choose which document. So you can choose this document, so the document that you're currently in, or you can change it to any document that you have in GoodNotes, which I think is really cool. So if you're referencing something that you have in a different notebook in GoodNotes, you can go ahead and just choose which one that is, and then you can easily access that. So I'm just gonna keep it to this document, and then I'm just gonna click on page, and then I can choose what page I want. So I'm just gonna go to the home page or the title page. And then that is that. So now again, I can go into reading mode, tap on it, and it's gonna take me to the different page again. There you can see. So it's really easy to do, and I think it's really helpful to easily access pages and things that you wanna reference. So I'm gonna show you an example of how you can use this in real life scenarios. So for instance, in my planner here, I'm gonna jump to today's spread. I can go ahead and write something else, so work on my business, and then I have a section in my planner that actually is for that so then I can just go ahead and tap on that link and it's going to jump to that page uh, I didn't have to navigate and search for this page I could just tap on that link and it took me directly to it another example that you can do is you can actually create your own notebooks and your own templates and add hyperlinks in there so this I also have an example for so here I have this notebook that I created so let's go to the first page of this notebook this is what it looks like so what I did here I just added in a title for the notebook here and then at the side here I made some text boxes I'll show you how to make these um, tabbed text boxes real quick but I made text boxes here I hope you can clearly see it and these tabs I pasted through each page in this planner so each page has those links here at the side so from any page I can jump to one of those links so now I have one for the home page which is this page here I have one for goals monthly weekly and daily so if you're making your own planner or something in GoodNotes you can do that so then all I need to do is jump to a page I can just tap on any of these links on any of these pages and it will work. I can go back to the home page. It's just a really easy setup. So all I did for this is I created a text box here. So I'm just gonna write tab. So we're creating a different tab here. And then what I did is I went to the section here. So here in text, you have this little block that you can choose. You can choose the ones that they give you or you can create your own by going to advance. So I'm just gonna go ahead to advanced and then you can choose a background color for your text. So I'm gonna go and just make one pink and you can also change the text color now to make maybe fit the tab more that you have. And then but going back to the advanced section here, you can go ahead and choose the type of border that you want. So you can add a border if you want to, you don't have to add a border. So maybe if you want like a black border around your tab, then we're gonna go back and just make that corner thicker. So then that's what it's gonna look like, it's gonna have an outline. I don't prefer this, but if you want to have a border around your tabs, you can do that. You can also round the corners, which is my favorite thing to do. I just like the look of it. So there my corners are rounded. And you can also add a shadow to that if you want to. So now it looks a lot like the tabs that I created earlier. Padding here is how much space you have around your text. So you can go ahead and increase that if you want a bigger tab with smaller text. So that's also something you can do. But that is basically the tab that we now have created. So it's just adding a border around your text. And now the same thing that we've done, you just select it, go to add link, and then you can just create a link to any page in your document or any website. So then I just selected it with my lasso tool and moved it here. You can also rotate it to be more to the side like this, and you can put it wherever you want on your document. And then how I made them go across all pages is I literally just selected them all, copied them, and then pasted them to each page and the links paste over as well. So you don't have to set up the links in every page. They copy and paste the links as well. So that is how I made this kind of like custom notebook that you can add links to and create your own hyperlinks to. So that is the hyperlinks in a nutshell of how you can use them and how you can create your own links. So that was my whole video on hyperlinks in GoodNotes. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. I'm making a lot of these focused tutorials on certain features in GoodNotes because in like a big video of a walkthrough of GoodNotes covering all the features, you can't really go into depth about each feature. So I've been doing a lot of these types of videos where I go into depth about a 
certain feature and everything you need to know about it. So I will have a playlist linked if you want to check out more of these videos. I hope they help you guys out. Let me know if there are any other features that you want like a dedicated video on for GoodNotes or whatever app it is that you're looking to get some more tips and advice from. Let me know in the comments down below. But yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I really appreciate you. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.